I think it's a lot of positives in that regard because uh, you know it's gut wrenching to lose those kinds of games. And as I just mentioned, you know, just a second ago, like, uh, you know, we've been in a lot of close games through the years. And when you look back at some of the special years we've had, uh, we've been able to win uh, our fair share, you know, of those close games. And that's how much of a fine line it is, you know, where uh, winning and losing, you know, can take place. And uh, I do think for the youth of our team and the experience of our team to uh, play the way that they've played all year and then to have you know, a lot of tough games that we weren't able to close or finish, um, you know, hopefully will serve us well going forward. I mean, that says a lot that we were in those games, uh, given who we are and, and, and our youth and inexperience at times. Um, but it also shows you how far we have to go to you know, to be able to close out games, uh, to win those games, to have the, the toughness and the discipline, uh, you know, in critical moments, you know, that, that shows that we can be deserving of, of those kinds of wins. You look at the effort that all of our kids gave, and then in particular, you know, the kind of uh, inspirational performance that, you know, Bryce displayed, uh, it was sensational. And we're proud of that. Uh, we're proud of the, I mean, being a, uh, only the second freshman ever in the history of the Ivy League, Siani being the first to make first team all league and then the, the rookie of the year and then have a, a performance like that, you know, in the first ever Ivy Conference tournament. Um, uh, you know, there, there's not much that you can say to him, you know, other than, you know, well done. Uh, now, can we, you know, use those areas of what can we do better in games like that to not just make himself better, but make others better? Um, that's what I talked to him about. You know, as going forward, you know, it's, it's going to be you know how the impact he's going to have on other players, not just the impact that he can have himself. Uh, and it's going to really separate him and allow him to, I think, to grow and develop and and ultimately push us, you know, to the on the side of the into the victory circle. Going forward, as you always are trying to grow and enhance, and uh, I think it's critical that he understands how you know. The growth of his game is going to evolve around, you know, not only shot making but playmaking, um, and, and I think that's and he knows that we've talked about that. Like that's, I don't want him to lose his aggressiveness or his daring, um, but we're also are trying to make sure that he's able to, uh, you know, make others better. I thought the play of Justin Bassett, you know, I, I just thought that his, uh, I wouldn't say unnoticed, but you know, wasn't as. Uh, it's talked about or is, uh, you know, celebrated, if you will, as some of the other, you know, performances by Seth or Bryce or Chris Lewis, you know, as being first-year guys. I thought they got, you know, a lot of attention and, and, and deserve, deserve, deservedly so for, for their, uh, their play. Uh, but I, I'm not sure that, that Justin got uh, his just due. Um, but I just thought that he really was a, a tremendous uh, reason that we had whatever success we had this year, having uh, 18 wins and his ability to fit with everyone and then be our best permanent defender and play probably many more minutes than I thought. You know, I'll, every time I feel like I look back at the stat sheet, looking at how many minutes, you know, I look, God, I didn't realize Justin played 34 minutes. God, I didn't realize he was in for 35, you know. Um, but we, you know, he's a guy that we really needed to have on the floor. Mm -hmm. 